What's up dudes? Today we're going to review the Hobsco Hov Beta Folding Fat Tire Electric Bike with up to 60 miles of range if you use the torque sensor and do a little pedal assist. Or you could do 40 miles under throttle only according to the company website. But can this bike actually do those numbers? We'll see after our 20 mile test ride. But before we check the range, we'll see if it can do the 20% hill grade test, what the brakes are like, and what the 0 to 20 acceleration time is on the Hov Beta. So let's crack this thing open and get started. Here's the goodies, folding pedals, and a rock solid three amp charger, meaning it would take five hours to charge this battery from empty to full, some tools, Oh man, we gotta put the kickstand on, and a quick release lever for the front wheel. And speaking of front wheel, here it is. It's 20 inches tall with knobby tread, and four inch wide meat on the spoke wheel. It's got 180 millimeter drilled brakes, and it appears to be mostly assembled. And there's an app that'll connect to this display. After you download the app, you just scan that QR code. And this is the first time I've seen radius hydraulic disc brakes. Appears to be a little knob here to adjust them. I like it. And there are ergonomic grips on this bike. Sneak peek shows us seven gears. We'll get back to that later, but really we need to get in here to the battery because we got to get this on the charger. Here's the keys. Pop that off. How charged is it out of the box? It looks like three out of four. And Hobsco always gives us like this little light on their batteries. It's got a couple different modes, like a strobe mode if you want to, you know, have a rave. Could be a useful flashlight if you're camping or something, maybe, right? Let's see how much we got to charge this thing to get it out today. Oh, 53.3 volts. So 54.6 is full. We're almost there. So that'll probably be done about an hour. So here's where the bike folds in half. I'll show you that in a few. And I gotta admit, I'm liking this red paint. They do have another color available. And honestly, all of Hobsco's bikes typically look pretty good. And packaged just as well as any other bike. We get the same radius brakes on the rear, same 180 millimeter rotor, and the same Sutto motor we've seen on other Hovsco e-bikes. It's a good one. We'll see how it performs on this frame. I have reviewed the Hov Alpha. This is the Hov Beta. I do have a special discount code on the Hov Alpha down below this video in the description box. It'll be a limited time discount. Looks like the Hov Beta has a little hand holder here on the relatively wide, flat Hovsco seat. Probably a nice feature to have on a folding e-bike. Bike. Looks like this rear tail light will not be integrated into the battery. It's got its own button here. And speaking of folding, the handlebar stem comes up like this. Locks in place just like any other folding e-bike. Handlebars come up here and it's got a quick release lever there for you. Five levels of insertion. And there is front suspension. Always an added bonus. Here's the adjustments. It has clicks so you can micro adjust it. Pretty basic. All you need. Using power tools to build a bike is always a horrible idea and I always do it. And of course, a quick release lever on the front tire is an excellent thing to have on a folding bike. You know, if you want to easily take the wheel off. Folding pedals fold, help save a little space. And speaking of saving a little space and folding, here's how you do this. Ooh! Drop the handlebars down, kick stand up. And here's where the handle comes in handy. I'd recommend taking the battery out for this part. There you go. The whole thing collapses down to about this size. Easy to fit into a SUV or a car. By taking the battery off first, you'll save yourself eight, basically nine pounds. That is significant. And speaking of battery, forgot to show you guys these specs. 48 volt, 54.6 volt at fully charged. Runs on 21,700 cells, 15 amp hour, 720 watt hour. I think it said LG slash Samsung cells inside of here on the website. Yeah, Hobsco runs Samsung slash LG lithium ion batteries. And the weight of this bike is 66.4 pounds. So taking the battery off there will make a difference. How does it feel to lift? Not light. I mean, I could load it up into a car. Have got some weight to it. Maybe have a buddy help you. Seat post diameter is 30.4 millimeters. Now, there is no rear suspension on this bike, but if you want to put a suspension seat post on it, there's your measurements for you. Not having rear suspension on it keeps the weight down. It's honestly probably the way to do it. And here is the rear mounting points on the frame. For like a rear rack, water bottle holder up here, and you can add a front rack with these mounting points. And of course, you can add fenders to this bike. I'm actually super pumped. I don't have to put them on. They do give you the little derailleur guard to install here. In case you knock your bike over, it won't uh, mess up your derailleur, which is Shimano. Speaking of Shimano, you get seven Shimano gears on the rear cassette. Relatively small crank on the front, 160 millimeters. I can tell this bike will be geared for slower speeds. Which dude, it's a folding e-bike. Probably not gonna wanna be going over 30 on this thing, but we'll see what we can do. Pretty darn easy build for a foldable bike. Here's the user manual and the warranty card. Now where did we leave off? 
We had ergonomic grips bolted down so they're not going to rotate on you. Thumb throttle is on the left. For a thumb throttle, I like this one a lot because it has a little rubber thing on there. This is definitely better than most thumb throttles I see on most e-bikes I review. Pedal assist down, pedal assist up, light, on off button on the right side, seven gears on the Shimano shifter, down. Up, down, up. I like these brake levers. Typically, Tektro and Zoom are amongst my favorite. Radius seems to be pretty nice. These might enter my new favorite budget. Oh, look at that. As mentioned, uh, if your brakes ever get loose, this is where you adjust them, like the red accent. They're nice levers. Not all bikes come with nice levers, these are. So here's your light. Let's power this bike up. So this battery on. Lock it on. And let's power it up and let's connect it up to the app before we get in here. I already have the app on my phone. Let's just see what happens if we scan this QR code. Scan the QR code. There we go. Came right up. This is our exact bike right here. And like I've done on other e-bikes, you go into here and we'll just change it to class three later to unlock the top speed. So we get five levels of pedal assist and the modes we get here are odometer, trip, and odometer. Gives us a battery readout in terms of percentage. So nothing fancy like a percentage or voltage. And unfortunately the bike does not show us our power output, which would be nice because these are powerful bikes. So let's see what it'll do. So we'll unlock it here in a few. If you throw the seat on max height, here's what it looks like for all you giraffes. I'm six foot five with an inseam of 34, and a proper leg extension. Step through frame makes it easy to get on and off. Handlebars ward on max height, seat is on minimum. Give you an idea. And handlebars can drop down. Relatively compact bike when in compact form. So let's take it out for a ride. All right, dudes, let's take the Hobbs Go Hob beta out for a ride. When we get back, we'll check the official voltage readout of the battery because this one just gives us a basic five bar readout. A little bit vague, and we can't be having that here. So let's go play. Whoa, dude, that just popped a wheelie. That's crazy. Oh. All right, we're gonna have some fun today. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course, we'll start with the Strava to track our official distance. Oh, I forgot to show you guys how bright the headlight is. Turn it on here. Eh, there we go, pretty bright. All right, dudes, let's run the Hov beta up to 20% grade. So I weigh 200 pounds, throttle only, ready, go. Front stayed down. I'm leaning a little forward and uh, full power, shows you all the bars. No problem climbing this grade. And that was thumb throttle only, no pedaling. Uh, these Hobsco motors are strong. And right away, you know, I'm feeling the torque sensor on this. So this bike gives us power based on how hard we're pedaling the pedals. So unlike a cadence sensor that are kind of dumb in comparison to torque sensors, this is nice, very intuitive. Let's try it on pedal assist five. And uh, you can feel it'll give you you really don't have to put in hardly any effort at all on pedal assist five, just pedaling very lightly, uh, bringing us up to 13 miles an hour. And check it out on pedal assist five, I can just kind of pedal very lightly, uh, just like other torque sensor e-bikes, and it'll give me just a little bit of power. So it's like one blue bar there. Again, any flickering you see on the screen is just the camera that will not be seen to your eyes. But if you start pedaling harder, it'll ramp up and give you like all the power. And this is a very zippy feeling bike. For a folding bike, this thing, you know, it's not necessarily easy to pick up, but at like 66 pounds, it's really kind of on the lighter end for like a fat tire e-bike with this much power. So it feels pretty zippy. If we crank it on down to pedal assist zero and start pedaling it can feel it's got some weight and I would not want to be riding this thing with no pedal assist I'm going about five miles an hour here bump it on to pedal assist one though and it'll give us just a little bit of power you got to really put in effort to get that torque sensor to help you out so pedal assist one like it won't cut you off it doesn't appear at like a slow speed if you want to go fast it'll give you two bars of power up to about 15. it's pretty bright out here i'm gonna throw my shades on the polarized lenses can you see the screen through the polarized lenses yes you can it's not the brightest screen i can see it though on a bright day through my polarized lenses let's just bump this on a pedal assist two pedal assist three you, you know how this stuff works uh we're on gear number seven now and it feels like a nice natural cadence here moving along at about 14 miles an hour handlebars are relatively narrow typical for a folding electric bike but the cockpit is comfortable uh, since they are the ergonomic style grips and as I mentioned earlier they are bolted down so they're not going to rotate on you and we're on pedal assist three what happens if we just use throttle on pedal assist three is there some sort of cutoff points here let's put it down to pedal assist one so no you get all the power regardless of what pedal assist you're on and out of the box it will take you up to 20 miles per hour as legally allowed by a class two electric bike even if you pedal holding the throttle not holding the throttle 20 is the point at which this bike will top you out out of the box you got to get into the app 
and unlock the higher speed. So let's do that now. So here in the uh, Hopsco app, all we gotta do is connect here, press on uh, class three, agree, and oh, let's race the Porsche off the line. Let's see if that unlocked it. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it did. Nice. The wheelie thing on this is kind of throwing me off here. Check this out. Normally bikes don't have this much torque, but check it out. Like, at a stop here. Dude, the front wheel is coming off the ground. Like, that is crazy. Just lean back, take a little bit of weight off the handlebars. Dang, that thing comes right up. Dude, the front wheel is le legit lifting off the ground. This is like, <laughs> I've never had um, like a legal electric bike that will pop a wheelie. This is awesome. So now we're gonna get out on the highway here and see how fast we can get this thing to go. And the gearing is not really meant to go fast. You can tell it has a 160 millimeter chain ring on front, so I'm pedaling like a madman. But it is going 28 and then it'll cut you off uh, once you hit 28. So that's pretty much the max you can go. Unlike a cadence sensor, you cannot ghost pedal this bike. You have to actually put in effort to get the power. So if you're looking for, you know, a folding bike to get you some exercise, that's not gonna allow you to be too lazy, uh, this could be a good option for you. It just has that good natural feeling uh, torque sensor and Hofsco does make a good torque sensor. Um, some of the e-bikes I review, you know, they'll have a torque sensor that isn't so great. This is definitely one of the better ones. Of course, you still have that uh, throttle, but it'll only take you up to 20, right? Woo! Fun day out here in the zoo I call my home. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, yep, pretty much. So we'll go ahead and do a zero to 20 acceleration test here. GPS in my right hand. I weigh 200 pounds, still ready, go. Oh shoot, dude, I about fell off the back there. 15 and 20. Well, pretty much 20. So this bike is a solid performer in terms of acceleration uh, because you know, the weight, compared to like the Hov Alpha, this bike weighs less and uh, has, I feel like probably like the same power level, maybe a slightly smaller battery. If I, I can't remember what battery is in the Hov Alpha. The Hov Alpha is a beast of a bike, but so is this in folding format. See about a little air here, maybe. Eh, probably wouldn't want to be jumping this thing, but it can be done. So right now I'd have to say the only change I'd probably make to this bike would probably be throw a suspension C post on there. Uh, for two reasons. One, obviously it's gonna absorb the impacts. Two, when you're accelerating, it'll kind of like allow your weight to dip back down into the suspension seat post as you take off. Cause this thing does take off pretty quickly. It'll make for a more pleasant ride based on my experience. Hey, look at that board, man. That dude's cooking. Which Meepo is that? Voyager. Voyager, how fast, how fast did I go? Uh, 40 miles. 40 miles an hour? Holy crap, dude. Yeah, you went flying past me. I was like, dang, yeah, that thing's fast. Great. All right, with all the torque this thing has, we're gonna have to get out here in the sand, but not quite yet. I'm actually super curious to know how it's gonna perform out there because I have been on other Hopsco bikes. I know yeah. these have enough torque. There's no, no problem with the power. They have wide enough tires. It's gonna come down to like weight distribution. And I feel like a lot of weight is over the rear of this bike. We'll pop it down a few gears here. One thing working against it is it's only 20 inch tall wheels. Uh, four inches wide enough. Let's see if it can go up this hill. Oh, wow. So it's going up the hill in the sand. Um, so yeah, we'll take it out on the flat sand here in a little bit. So very rarely can a 20 inch tall, four inch wide tire e-bike make it up the sand like I just did there with the Hog Beta. Typically the 20 inch wheel will just kind of wash out or the bike simply just won't have enough power. It's actually lack of power is usually the biggest reason for the bike to not succeed on that hill. Let's see if we can get that front wheel off the ground a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna kill the battery today, popping wheelies, having fun on this bike, but it's gonna be fun. Oh dang, they got the ramps back out. Might have to take the off beta for a little jump. Oh yeah, we're making it through here just fine. Dang, this thing is dominating and a bike party. All right, bros, on with the Revive. All right, dude, six miles into this ride, and we're gonna go try this thing on the sand. We got the big cart clearing the way for us here. It's definitely here. a little bit hard on the boardwalk, but we'll go ahead and cut across here, get out on the sand and see how this thing can hold up. So it is 20 inch tires will definitely hold it back a little bit. The 26 inch wheels always perform a little bit better, but I am doing throttle only. I am not pedaling this thing at all yet. And it's starting to, oh shoot, I should have shifted down a few gears. So the 20 inch tires kind of start to like just lose balance a little bit basically. But this thing has plenty, plenty of torque power. I mean, man, this thing is cooking out here, dude. We're going. 16, 17 miles an hour, and we need to 
curve back on, go up the hill over here. See if we can make it up the hill. There's some more watch out birdies. And so in this loose pack stand, it gets a little bit dicey here. But let's see if we can pedal it. Oh no, I only have it on pedal assist 30. But I have full throttle, so let's see if we can power on through. If you're looking for something specifically, like only for riding in the sand, uh, you should probably go for the taller 26 inch wheels. But this thing is definitely holding it down. Hiking it right on through here, putting out. I really wish I had a power meter right now to tell us exactly how much power it's putting out. But yeah, I'm really not even helping it much. This thing just able to get so much, so much of that power planted down through the rear tire into the sand, loose pack sand. So we're making it straight on through and full throttle the whole time. So after all that in the sand, I'm really curious if we can make it like uphill uh, over this way. Let's give it a try. I've never tried this before. I'm just gonna give it a go. This dude's carrying the bike through because you know that bike can't do it. Oh yeah, we're, we're going just fine. This is actually uphill, just like a little bit. I guess we do have a tailwind going this way, technically. Uh, but man, if you're looking for something torquey, this bike definitely has a torque. I mean, honestly, do we even need to do the California incline? We'll see what speed we can hit. So on the loopy loop here, full throttle. Makes it easy when there's nobody in the way. Just kind of hold down this throttle. Short wheelbase makes it easy to maneuver. And full throttle. Already 11 miles an hour. 15, 17, 18, 19. And Toronto will only allow us to do 19, but I mean, if we pedal, we could obviously go faster. <laughs> but yeah, long story short, it can do it. Long story short. In the other direction, now we'll go test the brakes. So these are the radius brakes. They feel excellent. Coming in hot at the wall. The rear brake is on the right. Yeah, I mean, these things are excellent. And normally this is where we do a brake test, but there is an open house going on here. One of these oceanfront houses, I wonder that place looks like should we try and check it out really i'm just curious what the views are like from up there man 4.85 million we're gonna go take a peek wow beautiful kitchen wow look at this view let's go check upstairs this view is incredible dang oh wow, there's even more upstairs hopefully that bike's still down there oh wow this is a bedroom up here and then some outdoor seating. Amazing, amazing home. <gasps> Maybe one day, just subscribe to the channel, buy some bikes. <laughs> the Hall of Beta is still down here. E-bike reviews becoming house tours. How about that? All right, dudes, let's go do our brake test right in front of this house. Pull up to 20 miles an hour, then we'll give it a pull of these radius 180 millimeter brake levers. And oh yeah, dude, <laughs> the front tire totally like locked up and uh, back tire slid because well i mean that's what tires do when you pull the brakes too hard so these radius hydraulic brakes on 180 millimeter rotors they feel smooth Let's see if we can do a little wheelie action here from a stop just smashing on it oh yeah <laughs> so oh, final yeah. thoughts on the hov beta i mean for a folding electric bike this is the single most fun uh, folding fat tire electric bike i've ever tried if you're looking for a folding fat tire electric bike that has a lot of torque i mean this is the ticket well i mean i guess it depends on the price but you can find out the exact price of this bike uh in the link below in the description box i should have a little discount code for you down there and if you did buy through that link it would help support my reviews on this channel we are 12.6 miles into this ride let's head on home and see what the final range is on the hot beta just rolling into the neighborhood here 18 miles almost two hours of ride time showing three out of five bars we'll get it on the voltmeter in just a moment to see the actual percentage because this thing doesn't show us percentage really i mean technically the app will show us a percentage it says 60 percent but it just does 20 percent increments so what kind of range can you actually do on this thing well hoska says you can do 40 miles under throttle only that's pretty much what i'm on pace to do today and i was pretty much beating on it out there in the sand and relying on throttle a lot so use that torque sensor a little bit with the 15 amp hour battery pack and you would certainly get 60 miles on this thing i would think you know if you if you help it out a bit so if you are looking for a folding fat tire e-bike i think this is actually an excellent option lastly hobsco bikes do come with a two-year warranty and a 15-day return policy the final price of the hob beta is $15.99 if you buy through the link below and use my discount code and hobsco has partnered with tons of offline bike shops and dealers offering local pickup test rides and e-bike maintenance services also hobsco has an offline office in california California. And we are at 47.7, so eh, a little bit below 50%, I'd say. But if this is not the kind of bike you're looking for, watch this video next. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.